Converting one page at a time can take a while. In this video, we're going to look at how you can take multiple Notion pages and convert them to Anki flashcards. Hey friend, I hope you're doing well. If you're new to the channel, my name is Alexander and I make free software to help Notion and Anki users all around the world be more successful in their learning journey. So if you haven't already, click the subscribe button below. So here I have Anki on the left hand side and Notion here on the right hand side. So you already probably know you can export sub pages, but if for some reason you can't use that, let's look at what you can do. So here is a deck I have, example German deck. I can export that, just export, and it's downloaded here. You can see it got unpacked automatically by, by my OS. So I'm just gonna use the zip file. So let's delete the folder there that was opened automatically. Make sure you upload the zip file because otherwise it's not gonna work for you. So I wanna export one more deck here, which is the list of Scandinavian countries here. And uh, let's hit the export. And we don't have any sub pages, so we just have the file. And again, you can see it unpacked. This is something that your browser might do automatically. So just make sure you have a clean downloads directory with only the files you're gonna convert. In my case, these two. And you can do, use as many as you want. This, uh, just make sure you don't hit the file limit because there is a file limit with Notion to Anki. It's 100 meg something. But yeah, if you reach that file limit and you really have to use it, let, just reach out to me. We can figure out something. But after you have it, uh, then you can go to toanki.net as you probably have done before and click then go to the downloads director and then what you're going to do instead of selecting one use your computer um, shift button and then click how many ever you want in this case i only have two and then click open so now you've selected two files right you can select multiple files in the uploader it's not obvious but that's how you do it right and then click the convert and then bam download and then you get the zip file. In this case, the zip file was opened automatically and inside of there, you have a readme file, which just tells you about the project, tells you about me and, um, and so on. So in here, you can see we have two files, right? One example German deck, that corresponds to this page here, the example German deck, and the other one corresponds to this one, right? So you can, upload multiple files together. You don't need to need to do one by one. You can upload multiple files. So yeah, if we open this, it's probably gonna work. I recommend opening one file at a time. So you make sure it gets into Anki and then open the next one. But you could also just try to open all of them at once. That works and it should go fine as long as you're in the deck overview here and are not editing a card because then Anki might prevent uh, the import process, right? So let's double check here if it looks correct. Where is the bus stop? Look at the German deck here. Where is the bus stop? It says there. Wo ist die Bushaltestelle? Exactly, there's an MP3. Wo ist die Bushaltestelle? Looks good. And what the morgen. <laughs> good morning, yes. Uh, so you see there's an MP3 and it plays the MP3. Let's check out the Scandinavian one there, list of Scandinavian countries. It's three also here, so we'll click. First one is Denmark there. Okay, the order is kind of messed up. That's a bug. We'll fix that one day. Well, let me know in the comments if you're annoyed by this bug. Denmark is correct. And then uh, let's check Norway. Yeah, so this is how you export individual files and then batch convert them. So I hope this is useful for you, for those who have been wondering how to do that. It's very easy. Just select all of the zip files you want to uh, convert when you're uh, uploading and Notion to Anki will do the rest. If you're not uh, familiar with Notion to Anki and you're watching this for the first time, there's going to be a playlist at the end that you can check out and uh, please do. If you uh, like the project and you would like to support it, there's going to be a link to my Patreon in the description. And we also have GitHub sponsors. So if you want to support the project, that's how you can do it. Thanks and uh, see you in the next video.